It's good to have you on. How far back do you go with uh, uh, with the new prime minister? And did you? She's she's had some evolution over over the years, uh, and uh, yeah. pe people <laughs> is that an understatement? Um, she was a well, yeah. I think she I mean, was a remainer. I mean, she was a remainer. Do you? Do you? And I, I'm not sure she was always a, a Thatcherite or even a. Uh, and, and a, a espouser of Reaganomics. Do you believe that that is what she is now? Well, you're quite right, of course. She wanted to get rid of the monarchy, abolish the Queen. She wanted to get rid of the nuclear deterrent. I mean, she was a real lefty. Uh, she was a Remainer, but she tells us she's been on this Damascene conversion to free market economics. Now, look, I tell you what, she's taken over today. She's just been to see the Queen as our Prime Minister. I will give her the benefit of the doubt because... Our economy is on the edge of a precipice, as indeed is our, is our currency. So I want her to carry out what she said. But here's the warning. What we do know she'll do is effectively cap energy prices. Remember, we are not self-sufficient in energy. We're paying sky-high prices to import coal, oil, gas, all of these things. Doing that is one thing. And it will save a lot of businesses from going bankrupt. But if she doesn't put in place supply-side reforms, if she can't convince the market that she can produce genuine economic growth, then I think the attack on the pound sterling could come pretty quickly. So it's a, it's a very, very difficult intray that she faces. We're going to find out very quickly of what she's made. Because it is... She doesn't have a lot of time, and some of these things are not going to be popular. What, what is the feeling in, in the U.K. about not, I, I, you know, I don't know what Boris Johnson was. I, I, initially, he seemed like, a, you know, a Brexiteer, and he turned into really a, not, kind of an anti-capitalist. He didn't really like, he said some things about capitalism and corporations and sort of focused on, uh, on, on climate change. But do you think she can keep corporate taxes at 19 oh. percent and not go, going up? She, will she get that? And what, what will happen in 2024? She, how much time does she have? Well, remember, we've had 12 years of conservative government. We've now had four conservative prime ministers in the space of the last six years, which shows you what an absolute shambles and a mess the party has been. She said one thing yesterday in her acceptance speech that I thought was really interesting. She said very pointedly, I was elected as a conservative, I will govern as a conservative. And she believes in low taxes. She believes in small state. Yes, she sounds, as you say, like an advocate of Reaganomics. I re-emphasize the point. This is now all about growth. We're going to have to borrow a whole lot more money. Look at where, you know, gilts, British government bonds are for 10 years. Interest rates are rising very, very fast. Inflation could well be over 20 percent within a few months' time because of our reliance on energy from overseas. And, and, of course, a weaker pound means more pounds to buy oil and gas priced in dollars. So let's see what she does. I would say, frankly, she's only got three or four months uh, to save us from going over an economic cliff. Uh, if she can do it, if she's bold, if she's brave, if she shows she's pro-business, particularly small and medium-sized business. And, you know, the benefit of Brexit was to get rid of excessive regulation. Johnson did absolutely none of it. So, look, let's hope for the first time in 12 years we get a Conservative leader who actually behaves like one rather than saying they are to get votes and then governing as a metropolitan liberal.